Do people still care about COVID? I live in a small town def not. From Denmark. No. We decided to stop all COVID measures and from one day to the next. COVID as a topic disappeared from our society. Now it's just one of many diseases that people who are ill enough to be hospitalized sometimes have. Less and less. It is now mostly resorting to the individual attitude towards getting sick, nothing COVID specific. I avoid it the way I avoid the flu for example. I think you're going to get very different answers depending on whether someone is in a household. With children under 5, immunocompromised people, elderly family members, diabetics, etc. I'm immunocompromised. The vaccines have a much lower efficacy for me. So my household is more cautious. I understand why others will want to get back to normal. Though, we all have burnout. Even most of us who strictly comply with precautionary measures dislike having to do so. I lost my grandparents who raised me several months ago. And my mom also almost died. I think about COVID every day. Yes. According to the construction site I am working at, it no longer exits. I think not enough on the complications that develop after contracting and overcoming COVID. There definitely needs to be more studies done on lasting damage. No. In the southern US it is hard to find someone who cares about it. I will forget it's still a thing until I go to the airport. Haven't been since the mandate was lifted. Or see something in the news with pictures of people with masks. It's not really a thing that affects anything down here anymore. Those of us with immunocompromised friends and family as well as young newborns who cannot get vaccinated certainly do. Define care, I guess. Some of my friends recently got it. Of course. Yes. I feel for them. They're double vaxxed and some boosted. So their symptoms were super mild. Do I think we should lock everyone down? The accumulated data, including the proverbial John Hopkins study, says no. I work in healthcare. Yes, people still care about COVID. Of course, there are thousands still dying of it too. But we have answers and options now. So of course the approaches are changing. I had it in March. Despite being vaxxed and boosted, it knocked me out for eight days and left me short of breath for another week. I still get winded if I push it. 34. No health conditions. And no, that's not a critique of the vaccines. I'm just glad it wasn't worse. Yes, partner and I currently have it. Nope. I always assumed it would mutate, weaken, and then become seasonal. Yes, but it's gonna stay, so we should just move on. I do, primarily because I work with immunocompromised patients. And have people in my circle who are dumb about COVID. So I wear my mask just about everywhere I go. People give me funny looks. But I don't care. I'm doing this for those patients I see that have little to no immune system. And for myself and family. Well, my wife just a bad case of it, so I right now I do care. I think that once the people who really cared about being COVID safe, realized that most of the people dying were those that refused to get the vaccine they just stopped caring. Right or wrong. I know that the vaccine is probably keeping me safe and if you don't want to get it that's your problem. I do feel bad for the people who can't get it, though. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.